Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are looking at combining functions by adding, subtracting, or multiplying. When we do this, we have to remember the rule which says we can only add, subtract, or multiply functions when they have a shared domain. So we want to look at the x values that the function takes on. They have to be equivalent in both functions in order to combine the two. So for example, when we look at function f here, it's a series of four points, and function g, which is also four points, we are going to combine together these points, but only when the x-coordinates are the same. So the two that would match, in this case, we can combine the negative fours here, so negative four and four, negative four and two can be put together. Then we can combine these points, negative two and four, negative two and one, and then we can combine these two points, one and three and one and two. And we can only do that because they have matching x values for those points. So when we combine them, here we're asked to find g minus f. So to do that, g minus f, we are going to end up again with a set of points and we're going to combine each of these. So we'll end up with only three points in this new function. To do that, we keep the x value the same and then we subtract the y coordinates only. So this tells us to do g minus f we're going to do 2 minus 4, which gives us negative 2. The next point is going to be negative 2 for the x-coordinate, because that stays the same. And then g minus f is 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. Then for our last point, the 1 is staying the same for the x-coordinate. And then the new y-coordinate will be 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. So those are the new points in this combined function. Now let's look at another type of question. Here we're asked to determine the new equation for a at x if we have b at x times c at x. So they tell us that b at x is x, which is a straight line, and c at x is x squared, which is also a straight, uh, sorry, which is a parabola. The domains then for both of these functions are exactly the same. They span all of the real numbers. So both functions have a domain that is the set of real numbers, which means their domains are overlapping, and so we can combine these two functions. So we're going to go ahead and do exactly as the equation tells us to do. Our new function, a at x, is going to be b at x, which is x, times c at x, which is x squared. Now we can just simplify. x times x squared is x cubed. And so we have this cubic function as our new combined function, and its domain is also the set of all real numbers. So it has that shared domain again. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.